<laughs> wow. You're gonna bring this enclosure over there as well. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. We got a big old buggy here right now. Should I buy this thing? 2,500. Goodness, was that beautiful yeah, or what? Be oh. oh my goodness. Oh, ho, ho. wow. Before we hop into today's video, this build was not possible without our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped is trusted by over 4 million men worldwide for providing premium tools and formulations designed specifically for below the waist grooming and hygiene. As the leader of men's grooming, Manscaped is going beyond the grooming with a brand new line of products. The Manscaped Ultra Premium Collection. This is an all-in-one skin and hair care kit for the everyday man and covers you from head to toe, literally. With the launch of the new Ultra Premium Collection, Manscaped has perfected the five steps and five minutes routine to help save guys money and time. Introducing the newest from Manscaped, the Manscaped 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, the Manscaped Body Wash with refined cologne scent, the Hydrating Body Spray, the Aluminum Free Stick Deodorant, plus this free gift right here, the new Moisturizing Lip Balm. So it's man-made and got a heck of a lot easier with Manscaped. Hop into the shower with your two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. The texture is nice and it smells amazing. It just cleanses and nourishes with lather. Now once the shampoo and conditioner is rinsed out, get your Manscaped body wash. Ah, it smells so good. And get to scrub it. Hey. The body wash is infused with aloe vera and sea salt. This gives that perfect balance between tough cleaning and soothing hydration. Rinse and towel off and then apply the Manscaped Hydrating Body Spray. I truthfully have not seen anything like this on the market before. This stick of deodorant is alcohol free, stain free, and dries clear. And it's scented with the refined cologne, so you're smelling fresh. It's also super nice and compact, so you can throw it in your gym bag, in your suitcase. You could fit it anywhere, even in your pocket. And last but not least, grab your lip balm. Look at the detail and packaging. This is vitamin E, peppermint, and eucalyptus oil. Mm, mm, mm. That will help soothe, hydrate, and seal in moisture. And best of all, all Manscaped's products in the Ultra Premium Collection are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. And boom, just like that, five steps in five easy minutes. Now be sure to opt in for the Manscaped's Peak Hygiene Plan where you won't run out of any of your favorite Manscaped products. Pick a replenishment cycle that works for you and everything will arrive at your doorstep hassle-free. Thank you, Manscaped, for covering me head to toe. Now go to manscaped.com backslash Paul and get 20% off plus free international shipping. That is manscaped.com slash Paul. Paul, 20% off free international shipping. It is the top link in the description down below. Go show them some support. They always support me and they help make all these projects on the farm possible. Thank you, Manscaped. Without further ado, let's get right back into the video. What up, Redneck? Hey. My buddy Daniel. And uh, I was not expecting to start the video off with this, but what is going on? My neighbors really don't like me. What is going on, pros? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna go on a buggy ride here in a little bit, but we're building an enclosure, the first enclosure in the new backyard. PC Farm 2.0 is coming together video by video. We just finished up this front pond last video. If you didn't watch the two series of building this, you gotta go back and watch those videos. This uh, front pond came out absolutely amazing. And uh, we're gonna start filling it up here with water and do a filtration system in one of these upcoming videos. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We got a big old buggy here right now. Should I buy this thing? Hey, if you think I should buy this, smash the like button. I will buy it off of Daniel. Oh my, how much do you want for this thing? Uh, three grand, you can have it. Three grand for real? Yeah. 2,500. Three grand. Hey! I didn't actually buy it yet, but I might, I might. If you think I should buy it, smash the like button. I'm telling you, I will. What a start to today's video, huh? Hey, <laughs> this is awesome. Nice little buggy ride. This is uh, this is how you know we're in Florida. And we casually have a mule and a horse at my neighbor's house. How you doing? <laughs> this is so sick. I will fully renovate this thing, me and Hector. That's all horse track. <laughs> Look at Taylor. Taylor, hang on. I hate that. <laughs> Oh 
All right, what today's video is on is building an enclosure. There's a lot of them here at the original PC farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight. All the pigs and animals are here right now, but soon will be moved to the new farm. This right here is the enclosure fence that we had before. These are four by fours, which are a bit different than what we're using this time, which you'll see me purchase in just a little bit, the new posts. I'm gonna be doing the same thing at the bottom of the fence, the wood at the bottom. I also love the idea I'm putting rock on the outside of the fence as well. I'd like to do that. Oh. <sighs> Dang, Mia, like right into the lens. We'll do that later down the road. Today we're just getting the enclosure done so we could get the animals over to the house. We're gonna bring this enclosure over there as well. This is where the pigs sleep. This will be inside that enclosure. As you can see inside, there's just a bunch of uh, a bunch of hay, but this thing is like hurricane proof. It's built exactly like the main house over there. It's the same color too, actually. Look, what's going on, King? He loves his head rubs. He uses me as a scratching post. Those eyes though. We're gonna be rebuilding each and every single enclosure. So for instance, this one, it's gonna be all new. My goats are all coming to the new house, of course, but the enclosure is gonna be fully new. New layout, new landscape, new palettes, everything new, which is good for the goats because goats actually like changes, kind of like children. They're literally called kids when they're babies. They like changes, so constantly doing changes to the enclosure helps them stay sane. Anyway, I could talk on and on about the projects we're about to get done and switch up and stuff like that, but we have to prep for our enclosure build today. So let's go do it. Hello, it's past Paul here. Just you know, sizing out the enclosures. I got my rusty old flags and uh, measuring tape. Every six feet is a flag. Which means post. Every six feet's a post. And we're just gonna do that the whole way down. Try to get these enclosures started. Ooh, working into the dark here. We are picking up 22 posts to start off the first enclosure. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five posts so far. And this time I'm doing these circular posts. They're a bit different, but apparently they last longer. So as you can see, circular and <laughs> by the way, a lot cheaper. This was only $250 for all 22 of these. At Home Depot buying four by fours would probably be like $700. So we're budgeting here at PC Farm. Four more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this one would be good for the pigs, hey? <laughs> Friends, <it's called> <laughs> Back at the farm. Now that you saw the prep work, we're about to get started on actually doing the work with my boy Hector. First, we gotta feed our hogs. It is muddy. It's been cold and rainy last couple of days. Finally, there's some nice sun here in Florida. There you go, guys. Eat up. They're getting so big. The babies are getting so big. Mama is looking a lot thicker, which is nice. She was so bony after having those babies. All right, now it is officially, we've prepped. It's time to build a new, Enclosure. Let's do it. Laying the post out. Look at this. Cole, you just like to photo bomb everything, huh? There'll be a place where these flags are, but. Woo! Cole, come here. Oh, you both got it. This will be the first post right here, and it'll go all the way straight to that post over there. Posts are down and all digging now. I was gonna rent one of the machines, but Hector told me not to. He wants to dig them by hand. Ain't going nowhere. And these actually aren't even concreted because these posts don't need as big of a hole to be put into. So in that case, they're actually going to be more sturdy. One, one post. One post. Dead. All right, Hector, I don't know how you do it, but. That's perfect length though that you measure, by the way. Is it's it solid. for for real? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's probably gonna come, you need to be like right there, yeah. Probably like right. Yeah, right there. Yonder? Yep, right, right yonder. How many lines? Ten? Yeah. Nine, ten. Immaculate. Hand hugs. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all we needed. That's all we needed. Oh, oh my, my God. Bro. Goodness. Was that beautiful yeah, or what? Oh. oh my goodness gracious. Oh. <laughs> that was just a. <laughs> <laughs> now we tighten. You know, if it wasn't for you, Brenton, I would have never thought about doing it like this. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm glad because now the pigs won't lift it up. This is the way we're going in. 
Look at that. Bro, that's... look at that gate. Just and look like, at that. They can't get under it. Oh I mean, my look gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Caparos, just look at it. Look at this. Ready? Oh my goodness. That is spectacular. Wasn't there supposed to be something here? No, there isn't. I wish there was. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> I just took my finger off. First nail on the new fence. Yeah, yeah, not here. This isn't the best fence, but listen, it's gonna work. Nailed those ones. How you doing down there, Brendan? Mark that one. I'm getting used to this hammer stuff. Nice. Might have to get hired here soon. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it looks good. Like from a distance. <laughs> From a distance. Good enough. All right, they're pigs. Oh, oh, Merc that one. Oh, hit that one too. Ah! It's done. It was uh, a week long process. A bunch of different days threw into one into this video. The gate is now on completely. As you can see, we close it there, wrap it around. I still gotta do one piece of wire from here to there and then from there all the way down across here. But we finished a big part of it and now you get to understand the layout of this one enclosure. From this corner post all down here and all of this is all one enclosure. Now I know you're probably saying to yourself, this is easily going to get destroyed by pigs. We're gonna build probably about a foot and a half, two feet high miniature fence that will just avoid the pigs from going this way and um, destroying the plants. We definitely do not want the pigs to destroy this because that is our privacy. Again, remember the wood's gonna be at the bottom, rock will be down there. That'll just help it be a little bit more sturdy, but this ain't going nowhere. Bam. That right there is how you build an enclosure. That building I was talking about earlier will also be in this enclosure and a couple more other things to keep the pigs a little bit busy. This gate came out amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, if you want to win a GoPro Hero 8, all you got to do is hit the like button and go to my Instagram to follow the other couple of rules. There's only one day left. Tomorrow is the announcement of the winner and that will be on my Instagram story as well. So go enter there if you want this. Anyway, subscribe, smash the like button, check out the merch, top link in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.